on here. You all right? <laughs> Starting to sound proper wank, you. <laughs> uh, lashes on the website look good. Well, does Kevin know you're such a big fan of the female eyelash? Oh, I was just stopping out like you asked. <laughs> so you reckon this business is a go then or what? Oh, only if I can get a car. It's very hard using trams and buses. Do you want me to look out for something for you? I already found one. Really? Come on, Alina. Chop, chop. Them thongs won't beat themselves. I've got half a day and all today. Do you think because I'm a girl I don't know about cars? No, no. It's my thing, isn't it? <laughs> it was my grandfather's thing, too. He had me in overalls and under his ladder from when I was five years old. <laughs> Trust me. I know cars. I went to this baby shower once, and they had these big dummies full of booze. It was hilarious. We all got wasted. <laughs> and what did poor pregnant woman do when you lot were getting wasted? Oh, uh, she was fine. She just stuck to Virgin Coladas. You know, we went out after, and I came back with 31 flip-flop. Magic of childbirth. Yeah, well, this is just a little family get-together, not a rave, so no booze-filled dummies when you're out shopping around. Mm. Oh, here it is, hunky hunk. <laughs> hunky hunk. His ex me might call me that once. <laughs> yeah, you never let me forget it. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, it's a bit down Mac for you, isn't it? I can slum it when I need to. How are you, Gracie? Yeah, I'm good. I'm channeling all my hormones into writing this party list. I'm quite enjoying it, actually. Me too. I've got a little something for the baby around your place. Can I borrow the key? I want to wrap it up. Yeah, it's uh, under the flower pot in the yard. Uh, I hope it's lavish and expensive. Michael, don't be crabby. <sighs> But are you OK doing this by yourself, all right? Because you're going to have to carry loads of stuff on the bus. Yeah. You know, I don't know how I'm going to carry all those helium balloons by myself. Yeah, well, I wish I could come with you. No. Your meeting's more important. Why don't I pick you up? I've got a few things to do in town anyway, so no problem. That'd be great. Yeah, are you sure? You think I want my great niece or nephew going on a bus? <laughs> you must be mud. <laughs> I just wondered if you needed anything doing, like, um, wedding prep-wise. It's all in hand, tap. Oh, right. So you're not going into town later with Sally to shop for wedding dresses? She told you. <laughs> she couldn't stop telling me. You know what she's like. And she actually invited me along and all. I didn't want to go in the first place. Why is she turning it into a flaming party? Right. Where's she taking you? I've no idea. Because I know somebody, a friend of mine, who has this very classy wedding dress shop in Wilmslow. Yeah, I mean, so I'll find somebody in town. Oh, come on. It's your big day. Hey, they do champagne in the shop and mocktails and everything. Yeah, well, if she can do the dress, the shoes and the bubbly for under a ton, sign me up. Hmm. Well, I think she's a bit more expensive than that, but... She will do me a discount because she owes me a big favour. <laughs> she told her husband once she was at the cinema with me when she was actually stopping a personal trainer. <laughs> when was this? Oh, I don't know. It was ages ago now because I think the film, if I have it rightly, was Bride of Chucky. <laughs> right, now, listen. If you won't let me out with the venue, at least let me sort you out with the dress. Debbie, please. Just keep your big nib out of it, will you? It's all under control. I know everybody's worried about me and I appreciate the concern. Come on, you gotta wait. Science might be good getting the boys together, you know, after everything that happened. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Just say the word and I'll get Sam pulling out the recipe books, knocking up something extraordinary from a packet of rice and a deftly chopped broccoli. <laughs> might beat the chippy tea, I suppose. But I don't want to put him to any bother. Why don't you try speed dial? Now you're talking. Lee. Hey. Ages since I've seen you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Imran said you were back at work. Yeah. Look, I know the last time we spoke, I was a bit pushy. <sighs> Toya, honestly, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I can't stop. I've got loads to catch up on. Defense is right. You know what she's like. Yeah, I know. I don't want to smother her, but. Yeah, but she's back at work. She's seeing the boys later for tea, so it's a good sign. Yeah. Interview in the Gazette. Oh, get you. Well, it's just about the fundraising, you know. So I just wanted a couple of um, copies put aside, you know, let's say half a dozen or something. Of course. It's a wonderful thing that you're doing. I'm not sure you should tell the journal about your show, but Pips have it, though. Well, we'll keep that our secret, eh? I read somewhere the uh, sugar's good for me energy levels. Mm. Bananas. Well, it's only a theory. No, I, I mean... Bananas. 
That's what you want after exercise. The potassium helps the inflammation of the joints. OK. Steve was just saying he's in the Gazette tomorrow. Yeah, I was just asking if I could have a few copies put aside, please. <laughs> as long as you pay for them, <laughs> your paper bill is way overdue. Is it? Listen, don't worry about it. Now, you've obviously had a lot on your mind. Well, I thought Ken sorts all that out because it's mainly his guardians. Yeah, and your fitness magazines. Like I say, it's not important. No, I'll sort it. I, I mean, I pay now, it's just I haven't got any uh, pockets in Lycra, you know. No pockets in Lycra, my eye. They have pouches now. What? All right, babe. Hiya. Can you believe this? Steve has just texted me. Brian has had a massive go at him for not paying the paper bill. After everything Steve's been through. Capitalist pig. Oh, I know, man. Anyway, I was thinking, the shop's been doing really well lately, so why don't I splash the cash a bit? Treat Steve to summer. You could start by paying his paper bill. Well, you think you've got problems? Dame Debbie's noble sell. And now she's having a load of designer frocks delivered to the bistro. <sighs> what is she after? To dress me up as a bridal Barbie, by the sounds of it. Typical. Yeah, well, at least she's uh, promised free booze all afternoon, so there is that. Hmm. Well, I, I thought you weren't drinking. I'm not. So it's a shame it all got to waste. But she thinks she can buy me with a few bottles of posh vino and a finger buffet. A, a finger buffet? Yeah, she's closing the place, especially. Uh, we'll have our own private chef. <laughs> she thinks people are impressed by a flash in the cash. I know, right? What a flash cow. Mm. If only I had a pal around here who'd uh, come with me for some moral support. Give me some honest feedback about these dresses. What time? Two. I don't have to be nice to her, do I? I'll be very disappointed if you are. Is that Alina? <laughs> See, you've got a good eye for a bargain. I think it's overheated. Oh, do you reckon? <laughs> Kev, give us a lift push in this, will you, mate? Oh, I can look at it myself. Yeah, but I've got all the can. <laughs> yeah, come in. Doors open. All the places in all the world, I find you in a terraced house in whatever depressed part of the Northwest this is. <sighs> what are you doing here? Well, if you won't answer my calls, emails, texts, carrier pigeons, what choice do I have? I don't want to see you. Eh? I know I messed up. But please, come back to civilization. Go back on that train and go home. After I came all this way, is that any way to treat your wife? Hi, Ronnie. I finished a little bit early than I thought. Fresh food, Dad. Mm. Mm, hold that thought. I think you need to pee again. Um, I'm gonna have to go back in. It's the only place that had a toilet open, but I will meet you in the car park in, say, 15 minutes. Yes, it takes that long these days. Bring on D-Day. All right, see you in a bit. How did you find me? I don't know if you've heard of this social media thing. I've got a feeling it's really going to catch on. Can't say I missed the sarcasm. If you want to stay hidden, probably best not to plaster your Insta account with pics of you and the football in Wonderboy. Especially not with street signs in the background. What do you want, Kat? They are really friendly around here, aren't they? Hmm. Only had to drop Aggie's name and everyone pointed me in the right direction. Congratulations, you found me. What do you want? An orange as a prize? I should have guessed you'd be here. Shacking up with her. I'm not shacking up with anyone. Borrowed those marriage on the rocks, is it? Thought you'd finally make your move? Salad. 
Uh, you look at me. I feel like a princess. Oh, plug her in and stick a lampshade on her head. There's loads of different designs in the office, but um, let's keep them in the office, yeah? We don't want any red wine disasters. Easily done. Oh, sorry, we're closed. She's with me. What for? Uh, I've come to support a mate, actually. Uh, that's my job. Well, just consider me back up. Babe, you said we were going to get a private chef. There is. Me. I just thought I'd do a few picky salady bits, you know. Oh, I could have had a pickled onion at home. There's a nice bit of corned beef there. Do you not like corned beef? No, it's repulsive. Much like that dress. Oh, stop it. It's lovely. Right, come on, I'll be your turn. No chance. Hey, if I'm marrying you, I'm not doing it with you in some high street tat. Now, come on. No way, you took a model. I'm quite happy sitting here watching you mince around. Now, that sounds like a plan. Abby, ship shape, in this office now. Tell you what, I'll try on another one. And you too, Debbie. Me? Yeah, come on, it'd be a right laugh, Tracy. Oh, no, no, you crack on. I'll take notes. Have you got a pen and paper? Don't need a pen and paper. This is my pen and paper. Come on, let's get it over with. Right, what would you say to a nice cup of tea? What would you say to a recently bereaved father? Oh, not this again. It was 40 quid. I can't believe you're actually saying that with a straight face. It's a business we're running here, Cathy. I mean, I have every sympathy. But if we gave papers away to everyone who happened to have something bad happen to them, well... Right, right, OK. That's it. You see this, OK? See that? 40 quid, OK? It's going in the till. What? Yes, I'm paying it. And I don't want to hear another word about it. Well, where are you going? I thought we were having a brew. Well, I'm particularly who I suck my tea with. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do you know, I love you in that, Debbie. You look dead classy. How much have you had to drink? It's a glass and a half. Oh, you look gorgeous as well. <laughs> Just like somewhat out of a fairy tale. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness for wine. What's that? Uh, oh, um, I said you both look divine. Oh, my days. Babe, that is hilarious. You look like you should be presenting the Eurovision Song Contest. Do you know, you have got a very funny sense of humour. Thank you very much. Oh, Abby, what do you look like? She looks like she's escaped from the local loony bin. Oh, Tracy, you can't call them that anymore. I suppose you can call them what you like when you've been in one. <laughs> Isn't it great, all this girly banter? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a real hoot. Are you just going to swig the wine and take the mickey? Well, what can I say? She's brought me here for my honest opinion. Well, excuse me. Have you any idea how much these cost? Yeah, 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 get back! What? The wine. Oh. Hey, mind your wine and all, Sal. Oh, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm just going to buy some at Dead Simple online. Oh, just try on one of my favourites first. Please, Abby. No. Bother this now. Oh, come on. She's only trying to help. Look, if she really wanted to help, she should forget the dress and just give her the cash. You stay out of this. Yeah, Tracy, you're supposed to be here to help. Why don't you say one positive thing about that dress? Oh, um. Well, I suppose if the marriage doesn't work out, at least you can get a part in pantomime, eh? Techno notice. You look beautiful. Oh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> She's right, he's shocking. <laughs> look. Just try on one more dress. And if you don't like it, well, you can get married in your bra and knickers for all I care. Right, come on. Chop, chop. She thinks a poxy dress can make up for what she did. I know, right? It's taking me all on not to grind her face into them pickled onions where she manipulated me. I just keep telling myself, I'm doing this for Kevin, doing this for Kev. Are you coming or what? <sighs> doing this for Kev, I'm doing this for Kev. I'm not in love with Aggie. Look at the photos all over the place, you stupid woman. Does that look like me? They are still married, and they are very happy, and they live here. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I've never even met them. 
Not this again. Oh, lose the weary put-upon husband act. And my sister said that there was something fishy going on when they didn't come to the wedding. They were away. And all the time after that? Not a single meeting? Yeah, you talked about them, yeah. Here especially. I'm visiting my family, if that's okay with you. We're finished, remember? No, Ronnie, you ran away. It's not the same thing. Let's have a drink, eh? I haven't seen you in months. I've got to go into town. We're having a family party later for Michael's new kid. A party? Oh, aren't I lucky? I came at just the right time. I get to meet the family all at once. Excuse me. You paid for them? Uh, yeah, I have. Only all watching you in the shop. You didn't go anywhere near the till. Oh, I just nipped in to use the loo. I, I bought this stuff before. Look, I'm pregnant, so I'm forever peeing and with a lot of the public toilets closed. I just thought I'm going to need to see your receipt, love. So, do you want the short version or do you want the long version? I'm not stupid. Just tell me what's wrong with it. Cylinder head gasket's gone. Uh, there's no way you could have known, but I've tested it and that's your problem. Have you checked for exhaust gases in the coolant? I have, yeah, and there were. <laughs> Does it need to be skimmed? Wow. <laughs> Oh, you really do know your cars. <laughs> Most men think it's weird. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think it's ace. <laughs> Tell you what, if you drank pints and supported weather, can't you be a perfect woman? <laughs> For who? Sorry, that was a mad thing to say. <laughs> I don't like football, and I only drink beer when it's hot. <laughs> right, come out. Let's have a shuffle. <laughs> was even stupider than the last one. Oh, for goodness sake, Abby, calm down. It's only a dress. It feels like an instrument to torture. I can't breathe. I think it's perfect. Uh, let me buy it for you. I, I know you're not used to designer gear, so please let me be your guide. Do you know what? It's not the dress, it's you. Me? What have I done? Oh, not all this again. Come on, we've only got a couple of hours. You do remember what she did, right? To you, to me, to our mates. Yeah, and I'm trying to make it up to you. You could accept it when somebody's trying to apologise. You call this an apology? Dressing me up as your own personal barbie? Oh, I hope you're not going to be like this on the big day. It'll make for some very stilted family photographs. I won't be going at this rate. It's Kev I feel sorry for. What? For marrying me? She never said that. That's what she meant, though. You know what you are, don't you? You're going to tell me? Are you? Oh. Well? Go on, Abby. Lamp her one. She deserves it. You reckon? Boom! Oh. <laughs> oh. What am I sat in? That's where I left my salad. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. What is it? I think that's beetroot. Oh. Wait, wait, surely if I give you my credit card details, then, then you'll be... Wait, if I log on to my online bank account, then the transaction will be on there. Um, you don't have a charger for this, do you? Look, it, it's a dead easy way to get this sorted. No, I haven't. Look, I've got to speak to my manager about the police. No, 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 no. it's got to be in here somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm on my way. Look, I gotta go. I could drop you at the station on my way into town. Look, I'm sorry I jumped to conclusions about Aggie, but why are you so keen to get rid of me? I want to meet everyone. I'll even make my famous egg mayonnaise finger sandwiches that you always hated. Cat, this isn't even my place. Okay, you're being weird, and I want to know why. You know how stubborn I am. Okay. You know, me and Aggie were together. 
years back, before she met Ed. I vaguely recall. Well, Ed never knew about it. And then Aggie fell pregnant with Michael straight away with Ed. Not long after she and I had finished. I always had my suspicions. But it's been preying on my mind lately. After what happened with you and me. Wait a minute. Are you saying... I didn't want to ruin things for Ed or Aggie. And I knew you'd make a better father than me anyway. But I've got to find out if my nephew is actually my son. Hey! <sighs> For you were supposed to be pick. Who's this? Ronnie, what's going on? <sighs> Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>